Hey there, uh, again, just piggybacking on the previous video that I just did. Um, I wanted to do a little more specifics if I could and draw it out a little more, hopefully explaining it a little better about organic churches and at least the, the model that I've been practicing for the last 10 years and that uh, I've really found to be really uh, encouraging. So we're going to try this here. Um, I try to draw this out for you here. Um, so we start off with fellowship, okay? And fellowship can be, I would say, no more than 15 to 20 minutes would be ideal um, at the beginning when you get started, whatever time you start. Some people start in the evening, some people start in the morning. Um, then we we decide we're going to start the meeting, and then that's what we do is where we come time where we focus on Jesus, okay? So Jesus is our focus. Uh, we want to, and I, I talked about this in the previous video, and I would even recommend, uh, if your group is interested in it, go ahead and just just try it as an experiment. Um, you know, sit together silently and just wait on Jesus. Um, maybe have someone read a scripture. I recommend uh, Colossians chapter 1, verses 15 through 22, Romans 8, 31 through 39, Revelations chapter 5, the whole chapter. Hebrews chapter 1, verses 1 through 13. Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 21. That's just to get, a, get you started. Um, but maybe have someone read one of those verses. Pick one. Um, and then just let people spontaneously respond. Long periods of silence are acceptable. It's okay to let the Lord work on you, right, until someone is moved to read a verse or talk to Jesus out loud. But you want to really, as much as possible, um, talk to Jesus the way you would if he was right in front of you. you know? And you'll get better at this as you go. The more you do it, the, the more often you do it, and the more you as a group really collaborate together. Collaboration is so important. You all have to work together to make this happen, or really it won't work. And it only takes one person to mess the whole thing up. I, I think I shared that in a previous video. But anyway, we, we do this... 15 to maybe 20 minutes of time where we are focused on Jesus. The longer, the better. I mean, if that went longer, I would be thrilled. And you can jettison some of these other things uh, as needed. Um, typically, what we do after that kind of focused time on Jesus, we would transition into what's called the more of the open share time. This is where, and you hear people talk about this a lot. I talk about this a lot, where during the week, everyone in the group should be praying about, okay, God, what is it you want me to share? What is it I, I can bring that'll be an encouragement to my brothers and sisters in Christ. It could be a scripture. It could be a Bible study. It could be uh, a testimony of something God's been teaching you or doing in your life or whatever it is. But it's something that you should be thinking about and praying about and something you should be preparing ahead of time to share. Five minutes, 10 minutes at the max, because you don't want to... Again, the goal is for everyone to have a chance to participate, not for one or two people to do all the talking. So uh, when you move into that kind of open share time area here, uh, again, and again, if you have a large group, that means you maybe should prepare something three minutes uh, at the most or something like that because if the goal is you want everyone to share, and again, everyone won't share every time, and you never force someone to share if they don't really have anything to share. It's more of you get to share. And, um, but, but to do anyway, but depending on the size of your group, you're going to have to lengthen or, or shorten the amount of time people are allowed to share. Again, the goal is once you've shared whatever it was you had prepared, then you should be silent and you should allow other people to talk. Don't piggyback on other people's stuff. Well, maybe we'll do a sort of a, 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 a dynamics or an ethics of, of how to do that. But anyway, let me finish my, my story here, my timeline. So after um, we do the kind of open share time, then we do ministry time. Ministry time could be, again, 10 to 15 minutes, praying for people, laying hands on them, really the body coming together to, to pray for people and minister to them. Uh, then we eat, okay? Eating is one of the best parts. I love eating. We, we have great food now that we have lunch together. Now, we used to do that at the beginning here. We used to meet for fellowship, then eat, and then move into the kind of Jesus-centered time. But we, now we've moved eating to the end, and uh, we, we tend to like that better. You can do whatever you like. And then after we eat, then we have sort of this fellowship time where we have more fellowship time. And that's sort of leading to the end of the meeting where you, um, that's something else you might want to talk about later is end times are a little loose. Sometimes, sometimes they just go and go and go 
uh, and sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad and we can talk about that in another video but hopefully that's, that's helpful we're going to get more specific as we go forward but uh, that's our five minutes and i appreciate you listening god bless take care